All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Diesel. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. All right, so here's the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Another fight here tonight. His first two UFC wins took less than two minutes combined. The majority of Duho Choi's wins have come by first round knockout. We'll see if he can rack up another one here tonight. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Oh, nice. Choi gets tattooed by that straight punch. Great body kick there. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Overhand to the head is true. Great technique there. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Fast pace here in the early going. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cowl tie. Distance management, one on one, another punch lands. Just missed with the left there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Out of range with that one. Nice body kick there. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. The Korean Superboy gets back up. Just over three minutes to go now. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Solid kick by him there. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He lands a big knee to the body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Useful. Lead right hand, that'll work. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now it's starting to show. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Under two minutes to go in the round. Let's go. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Big kick lands. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Oh, nice inside kick. Effective use of the jab there by Choi. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Just misses with the left hook. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's Robert Choi. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. The fighters separate. Under a minute to go. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, just misses with the kick. Cut the edge. Cut the edge. 
Straight punch is true. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, another strike to the body. Not on the floor. This is big. That's big. Ten seconds now in round one. Choi's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Round two straight ahead. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut may will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready. Round two here. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, huge overhand there. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent... Oh! Choi's blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different. He's got to be very careful because he's looking for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Hands higher, hands higher. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Switch the the Takedown defense is there. Yet another strike targeting that already bruised area on the side of his body. Just mixing everything up there. Finding his target, using his punches, his kicks, and everything else to try to do damage to his opponent. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. He's hurting the bad man. That right hook is nasty. And now some separation. Oh, nice kick. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking time. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was significant strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Be first, be first. Nice uppercut. Ooh, another shot to the head. Straight right hand now just misses. 
All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the duck. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those no shots to the head will not be up. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. One minute to go in round two. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is going to continue to attack that region. Well, he has to. He's starting to see now the work is being done. He's starting to see the benefits of the work with the swelling that's starting to occur. Oh, the roundhouse kick lands. Block that punch. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Third round underway. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets under. I expect the action. Oh, that's going to the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Nice land. Great punch. Left hand. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Overhand lands. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Oh! Wow, both of them are landing massive shots. Looking to land the leg kick now. Ooh, what a punch. All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. And now he's got a good bat. Oh, both, both landed. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Well, at times, he's tried to check kicks, but he has not been effective in doing so, and now he's starting to limp a little bit. He's starting to limp from those leg kicks. He's showing that it's hurting. That's a, that's a big sign when you watch a fighter, because a fighter never really wants to give you anything, but he can't help himself. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. You can't take many of those. You better check. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure. He's hurt bad. The 
got checked. to widen with every passing stretch. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Overhand left, swing and a miss. Missed with that attempt. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Oh! Trying to find a home for that right hand. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you? Oh, oh he's hurt. Big right hand. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Defense. That kick lands. Waning seconds here of round number three. Right. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Missed. Oh, how about that strike over the top? And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, nice right hand. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Straight down the middle. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh! He's hurt again. Choi's not making things easier on the opponent right now. Continuing to target that damaged nose. And that strike certainly found the target. Unable to connect there. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both <laughs> Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious. So he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing. And by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Nice jab by Chor. 
Tremendous toughness as he eats yet another body shot. This feels pretty critical at this point in time. I wonder if the corner's thinking about getting involved. Somebody needs to. Somebody needs to get in there and stop this fight. This fight is over. Your fighter has been beaten. He's not going to win. Now it's about long-term damage. How do you avoid and allow for this guy to continue forward after this fight? Oh, big left hand there. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Just out of range with that strike. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Under two minutes here to go round four. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, man. I mean, how much can one man take? He certainly doesn't look like he did when he walked out here just a few moments ago. He's almost unrecognizable. He's been hit so many times in the face. The swelling started early. We spoke about trying to defend it. We spoke about making adjustments. He didn't, and now he finds himself here. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Leg kick now. Ground strike landed by him there. How much more can one man take? Choi is looking to pass from full guard into half guard here, but he's denied. Oh man, he's just getting tattooed on that already compromised spot. Might need to call in the doctor here if you're the referee, sir. 100 minutes to go in round four. Both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Left right hand. Oh. 20 down, five to go. All right, looks as though the action may continue as the fighters make their way back to the stools, but that swelling DC above his eye is absolutely out of control. Might even be dealing with a facial fracture in there. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of his defenses. Ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. <laughs> His opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful lever change. Make him think you're going low and go right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. Strike by him there, and he continues to attack that cut. Pretty sage decision by him to target that area. We always talk about his fight. Oh, oh he's stuck bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, we know you fans out there generally don't like premature stoppages, but I'm not sure this would be premature. I mean, his face is essentially shut and closed at this point in the fight. He's just been beat up. He's been outclassed. He's been outworked. He's been outsmarted. His opponent has just been better. He's been better. Oh!
big shot to the body. All right, that calf kick starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. And it's exciting him. He's excited to see that all the work that they've done in preparation is showing itself in the octagon. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Big right hand. He checked that last one. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose is just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Perfect execution on that team. Strong punch to the head and the clinch. Really good emphasis on that kick. Oh, my oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Under two minutes now with which to work. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, you gotta keep pressing here. Could be the beginning of the end. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 13 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Choi. So the Korean Superboy, Du Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think.